Hi and welcome. In this video we're going to take a look at review mode in Adobe Bridge. Now I take more photos with my digital camera now than I have ever done in previous years. So being able to sort them out quickly is really important. So I need a simple method of reviewing the images to whittle them down to my keepers and the best images and separate them from the deletes. And that's what review mode allows me to do. OK, well, let's see how it works. You know, I've got a few images from a, from a holiday in a folder that I need to identify my keepers and deletes. Now, I've got a five star rating of one to five that I can use. But in reality, I prefer simplicity. So I have a system that works for me. I've got a five star, which is a keeper and a one star that is a maybe. Now I can go up to view and review mode. So I can go up here to the view menu and review mode. Or there's the keyboard shortcut of control plus B or command plus B on a Mac. Or I can click this little symbol here in the application bar called refine. And then I've got review mode again. Okay, so let's select all these images. So I'm going to click on the first one and shift click on the last one. And then I'm going to go to view and review mode. And here we are. All the images are in like a circle. And the, the active image is the one that's front and center. Now I can use my left and right arrow keys to move round to the left or round to the right. And I think they call this a lazy Susan. I don't know why. I don't know why Susan was this lazy, but that's what I've heard it called anyway. And so now I can start rating my images. So if I look at this one and think, mm, am I going to keep this? Well, OK, I'll give it a one star. And you can see the star ratings appeared at the bottom. And, and I like the idea of here because I can see what's coming and what's going. So it gives me an idea of if, if there's a bit of a relationship probably between some of the images. Now I'm going to press the, the right arrow and that takes me around to here. Mm, OK, we'll give that a one. That's not bad. Now, if I want to remove a rating, then I can just press the zero key and that'll remove it. But I'll leave that as a one just for the time being. And then I go around and think, oh, no, that one just doesn't work at all. So what I want, I want to drop it out of this, this selection because I'm, I'm trying to get a really refined selection. So to do that, I can press the down arrow key. And if I press the down arrow key, that image will disappear from this selection. Now, it's not been deleted. It's just been removed from this particular selection. Now, if I want to have a look at a little bit more detail, I've got what's called the loop view. And that's this little spyglass down here. So if I want to see how sharp my images are, I can click and I get this little loop. And I can move it around by just clicking and dragging inside it. And the bit that it's actually looking at is this pointy bit here. So it's not looking at anything in the middle. So if I put that pointy bit over the eye, you'll see that it shows me the eye. So it's basically a way of just checking how good your sharpness is on the images as you go around. Now, to get rid of the loop, um, there's a little X in this bottom corner here. And if I click on that, it closes the loop down. So let's continue. I like that one. So I'm going to give that a five star. And then round again, I'm going to give that a no one star, I think, that one. And that one I quite like, actually. I'll give that a five star. Now, I, when I get to an image, let's go, you know, I quite, I quite like that one. And it's got a relationship with the, sh with the shell before it. So I'll give that a five star. And then I get to one and I think, mm, no, it just doesn't fit the bill. And I want to delete this. I can reject this image, which sets it up for deletion by pressing the Alt plus the Delete key. 
and then you'll see a little word appears. It says reject or reject. And then we can continue round. Uh, I think I'll give that a yeah, I'll give that a one star. That's not bad. Um, I think I'll drop that one out. So you can either drop it out or, or you can reject it. It really doesn't matter because all we're doing is refining down to a specific amount of images. So I'll drop that one out. And I think I'll give that one a five star. Quite like that one. And then we'll go around, give that one a one star. Round again. Yeah, I'll we'll give that a one star. Oh, I quite like that one. So we'll give that a five star. And I just don't think that's as strong. So we'll make that a one, but I might be able to use it in the future. And then that one, I think there, yeah, that's that's a more engaging shot. So we'll give that a five star. And then we're back to a one star again. And we round to where we started. Now I've got my images all rated. I can save them out as a collection. And I can do that by clicking this button here. And this will save those images out in a, a collection. So I can click on that. And then in my new collection dialog, I'll put, I've got my five star and one star images. Oops, I've got percentage. Okay, now we'll have that as, as five star. And then save that out. Now you can see now that if I go into my collections panel, you'll see that I've got my five star and one star images all in one collection. Now I can filter them so I can go in and have a look in my filter panel. And you see now I've got my ratings, all the ratings that I've done. So I can just look at my five star images or I can look at my one star images. Now these are what's called sticky. So if you click on one, you've got to take the other one out. So now I'm looking at my five star and one star. I just want to look at the one stars. There we go. And then I'll click on that to take it off. And I can just look at my rejected files. And then I can look at any that basically I've just dropped out but have no rating on. Now any that I have rejected, which in this case is just the one, if I now go up to my filters, if I click on that, I can show rejected items only. So I can look at that. And then if I've rejected 30, 40 files, I can delete them all at one go. And I can just click the delete, the trash can over here. Okay, I'm not gonna delete that because I'm gonna show you another methodology now. So let's take that out. We'll clear the filter. Now another methodology is if you're just looking for that one specific image. So what I can do is I'll select all these images again, hold the shift key down, and then we'll go into review mode. And so now what I'm looking for is, is this image the one? Or I can narrow it down to maybe two. But let's narrow this down to one. And I'll say, mm, quite like that one I'll just go around once mm, yeah okay okay yeah okay get an idea of what's there okay well, I think I'm ready for this yeah and then I can go no no I don't like that one so I'm going to press the down arrow no not keen on that one that's a down arrow no that just doesn't work hmm quite like that one so I'll just pass over and go mm, no don't like that one that's quite engaging so do I like it better than that one or that one mm, not sure that one no I'm gonna drop that out no that can go no not bother about that one uh, no not bother about that one and that one no and I can just keep going and I'll drop them out until I get down to the last four. And then I've got the, the lazy Susan gives up the ghost and we just get the four on the screen. And then I'm just gonna go, hmm, okay. I'll drop that one out. Do I like that one, that one, or that one? Quite like that black and white one. But the shell's drawing me, the shell's drawing me. 
Okay, we'll go around. Do I want that one, the bottom one here? Mm, yeah, it's sharp enough, but no, no, I'm going to drop that out. And then I've got these two, mm, totally different, but mm, no, I'm going to drop that one out. I'll have a look. Mm, okay. So I'm down to me one, which I can now give my five star rating and then I can pick it up um, by doing searching now to say this is a five star. This is a brilliant image that I want to work on. OK, well, that's it for this video. Let's have a quick recap before we go. What we've we done today, we've been looking at review mode and this is applying a rating system to our images to identify the keepers and the maybes and quickly deleting the unrated or the rejected images. I hope that was useful. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.